Th thank you, uh, Ken Corla. I'm not quite speaking to an empty doll, but anyway. First of all, can I thank Sinn Féin for bringing forward this motion, which comes forward with a number of proposals to tackle the cost of living in the context of institutional investors in the residential property market. I think all of us in this House would agree that the provision of homes, homes to buy and homes to rent, is beyond crisis point. And this issue is not new. This crisis has been escalating year on year. And it is not a crisis manufactured by any opposition party. It's a real crisis for families, for individuals, for young people, for pensioners. And it's a crisis that affects urban and rural areas alike. Being able to call somewhere home, I think, is essential to ensuring a sense of security that is fundamental to all of us as human beings. Being able to open, step through, and close your own front door behind you gives those of us in that position a, a real sense of belonging and a sense of place. And just that sense, we're at home. Because that word home is so, so powerful, and it means so much in so many different ways. Without a home, either one you own or one that you rent with some decent level of certainty around your tenancy, without that, as a person, as a family, you're just adrift. You have no anchor. And all the other things that we talk about in this place, whether it's employment or education or community, they're all irrelevant if you don't have a home. And that's why we speak of a crisis. At one time, this crisis was much more acute in the cities, in urban areas. But of course, if you're a person without a home, it's acute no matter where you live. But certainly, the numbers were greater. But that's no longer the case. Because if we look at the, the facts, we can see that, excluding the cities, the average rent increases across the country in the last year stands at just over 1,100 euro. Sorry, not the increase. The actual rent is 1,100 euro just over per month. That's an increase of 11.9% on the previous year. But in the west of Ireland, in counties like Roscommon and Leitrim and Mayo, rents rose by 20% on a year-on-year -year basis. So that's 8% more than the average I spoke of. Indeed, Minister, four of the five largest annual increases in the country were in the Western region, if we look at Q2 in 2021, with increases of 21% in Leitrim, 17% in Clare and Donegal, and 15% in Sligo. Now, that's looking at increases in the cost of renting a home. But if we look at the cost of buying a home, house prices, um, what we see is that the move away from the larger urban centres has had a hugely significant impact. If we look at median house prices, the percentage change from 2019 to 2021 is 11% in Donegal, 16% in Leitrim, 8% in Sligo, and 14% in Roscommon. Now, I could be giving you stats and figures all day long. But that, that doesn't give you a real picture of what it's like for people who are trying to buy a home. And I, like many others in this chamber, get emails and calls from people all the time. At the end of their tether, they cannot find a place to rent or a place to live. Now, government tells us, and there's a lot of truth in it, that the problem is one of supply. But if we look at the completions in the last three years, 2019, 2020, 21, we see that in the Western region, the numbers are paltry. 
from just over 2,600 completions in 2019 to 2,758 in 2021. And in my own county of Sligo, the completions were 118 in 2019 and 143 in 2021. That's a minuscule, tiny increase. Yes, I know we have COVID and we have to, obviously that has impacted on the number of completions. But your government tells us this is a problem of supply and you're the government and you have to find a solution to that. Now, many of the proposals in this motion, I think, will help to start addressing the crisis that we're speaking of here. But I want to focus particularly on one, and, and that's the last proposal, which asks that you would provide additional capital funding to local authorities and approved housing bodies to forward purchase such developments for the provision of social, affordable rental and affordable purchase homes. Given, as they say, some developments require forward purchase agreements to ensure their viability and delivery. Now, to me, this is a really important issue because the upfront costs of developing and building homes can be very significant. And I think one of the things we could do, for example, is to look to the housing agency to, you know, to fund the upfront costs of the mezzanine funding that's necessary to local authorities, to approved housing bodies. But I also believe that we should look at the same housing agency to lend money for what I would call genuine projects, for the building of homes, where the outcome would ensure affordable homes. Because there's no point in government money fueling the costs of homes or the increase in the cost of homes. We have a housing agency that is managing the MICA redress scheme. Why don't we task that agency with managing what I'm speaking of here, the upfront costs to local authorities, approved housing bodies, or to local builders and developers who will provide local homes in local areas and local employment? I think that that proposal perhaps needs some refinement, but I think it's, it's a really valuable one because it deals with the reality of building homes. I would finally say, Minister, that, you know, during COVID, we did a lot of good things. You did a lot of good things. You guaranteed businesses. We guaranteed the banks during the crash. But what we're talking about here today is bread and butter stuff. And my question is, why can we not guarantee housing? And I suppose the final point I make, it again comes back to local authorities. And we know that local authorities built houses 20, certainly 30, 40, 50 years ago. Unfortunately, because policy changes, some of the expertise has been lost and it will take time to get that back. But there's still a lot could be done, Minister. For example, with derelict homes in towns and villages. I know that there are grants for individuals to perhaps uh, do up these houses, but why not resource local authorities uh, to help to deliver local housing in this way? Thank you.